Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you enjoyed that little intro there and I hope you kind of got an idea of what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be building an SSTO, but we're going to be building an SSTO a little bit different than usual. We're going to be building it in situ. I mean, literally right on the runway. So it uh, does not get very much more on site than that. We will assemble it with the docking ports that you see here. I built a crane that we'll use. Everything's going to be stock, except you will need the DLC to use the robot arm on the crane. You can see our plane's a pretty simple design. It's the MK1 cockpit with two of the FLT-800 fuel tanks and then just a single rapier engine. It has two of the small delta wings as well as one of the advanced canards on the front just to help it give just a little bit more lift because we couldn't go with the bigger delta wings, they were causing too much drag. Uh, so this flies perfectly fine with just these two and the canards on the front. You can see I've put the solar panels on there. There are no batteries. You could probably throw one of the batteries up into one of the service bays. I put the service bays on there just to reduce part clipping so that I could put the docking ports in and reduce the drag just a little bit without clipping into the fuel tanks. And here we go with our crane. Uh, I tried to make a good use of the robotics parts. I, I haven't got to play with them much yet, so this was kind of fun to experiment around with them. You can see the crane moves with the translate up and down, so the I and K keys. It also pivots the arm there with the translate left and right, so the J and L, and then it does a 360 spin as well with the H and N keys, so the translate forwards and backwards. It's really nice. It made the whole build pretty easy. You can see how this really just snaps together. It didn't take me much. I think it was about 10 or 15 minutes on the runway here to get everything together before we were ready for a liftoff. And we're just putting the capsule on. This was actually the hardest part to pick up. You can see I had to sort of just slide the crane over and grab it from the side there. There's two of the small landing legs on the bottom that give the crane a little bit of like a zero turn. It doesn't work the best. There's probably a lot better designs that people can come up with if you want to take these craft files and try to build this for yourself. All right, and there we go. We got a fully functioning SSTO now and one that we built ourselves from somewhat scratch. Now let's see how it flies. And there's really no special way to fly this. This is a really entry level beginner SSTO. You could just fly straight until you hit 450 meters a second and let those rapier engines start spooling up. 
and then just pitch up to about 20 degrees and coast up. If you're new to SSTOs, this is probably a really nice one to fly. Uh, in ways it's probably difficult to snap together with the crane you can actually see my front end isn't lined up there with the canards and the back delt wings it actually causes a little bit of an issue when i'm landing it's the landing legs it's not so much the wings or anything else Overall, this was a pretty fun build though. I wasn't sure if this would actually work, and in fact, most of the first designs I came up with didn't work. I had too much drag on the plane, and I was actually just trying to over-engineer it. So when I just stripped everything down to the bare bones and reduced as much of the drag as I could, the whole thing flew really well. Alright, and as fast as that, we are ready to come back. If you're not very good with the re-entries and landing back at the KSC, it's just something you're going to have to get good with over time. It really depends on how much mass you're coming back with, how much drag and lifting surface you have. So there, uh, there's a lot of different variables that really come into play. And this plane is so light, we could just put our maneuver node right on the KSC when we're coming back and we have a decent enough amount of glide that we could really just dictate where we want to come in at. So it was probably hard to see there because it went by so fast, but I just started slowing down at about 1700 meters a second when I was on my, uh, my surface gauge. And then with that, you could just keep at that speed and tilt your, the nose of your plane up or down and just decide where you're going to land at and just keep checking on the map to see as it moves and you can see where you're going. There you go. We're down. Safe landing. And you can see, like I was saying, the legs aren't lined up the best. I should have taken a little bit more time to make sure that was lined up, but I threw it together in about 15 minutes, so there was some definite engineering oversights spool up the engines here just so we get a little bit of a takeoff and we're gone a little bit extra fuel so might as well use it and you know like i said earlier this was a pretty fun build this was an idea that i had i wasn't really sure if the game was going to logistically let me do this in fact when i had done some of the original builds um after i had assembled them it for some reason started causing more drag uh, so if I had the full assembly in say the space plane hangar and I had launched it there was no problem it was just recognizing it as I think one full vessel but the problem is when I have assembled them on the runway it started registering the docking ports for the drag um, I'm not sure if that's exactly what happened but for whatever reason, like I said, after I had assembled it on the runway, I was experiencing about twice as much drag as I was uh, if I just launched it as like a full kit. And we come in for a, a very smooth landing here. And really that's about it. Uh, if you have the opportunity or you are inclined, feel free to download the craft files and try to build one of these for yourself. Uh, if not, maybe you just have some use for the crane. Either way, thanks for watching, and if you liked, please subscribe.